because today is the day! This skateboard trick is gonna blow your mind! It's been a super intense four weeks of training. Nothing but grinding, claw stretches, shredding, and shredded legs. I'm coming with Some say it couldn't be done, but get ready, because today you're going to witness the first ever tortoise kicker ramp ollie! <laughs> Time to bust out of that shell tank. Let's do this! Wait till you guys see this! Whoa! Awesome! Woo Don't worry, I'll add some sick special effects later. Hey, Paw Pals! Welcome to this month's Fancy Fetch Unboxing with Spike. I love pampering myself, and of course, putting it on the internet for you, my fans, first. Hashtag puppy self care. I decided to splurge a little this month and get the deluxe package. Let's get a better shot. Whoa! Look at this! Fabulous Fido's Fabergé Flying Disc. Of course, you can't actually throw it. Far too delicate. Mwah. Hmm. What other gems do we have here? Oh, slippers to make your paws feel plush. They're encrusted with locally sourced amethysts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is why I started vlogging in the first place. I've been waiting for a sniff like this. It's a classic white ankle suck. Cotton nylon blend, 200 wears deep, never washed. This ain't no dry wick. This baby is as absorbent as they get. Ah. Huh? Spike! Did you spend $200 on a box with a dirty sock in it? Uh, <laughs> you can't put a price on hashtag puppy self care. And now for my new show, Reboxing and Returning Stuff. On today's DIY with Applejack, we're gonna build my friend Rarity a dream dressing room in just 73 easy steps. Hello, darlings. I can't wait for my fabulous new dressing room and... <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> Promise I won't make another peep. Let's get started. First, you need wood. So for step one, I'm gonna cut down one of my trees. <laughs> just a dash of peep. How many trees are we going to need? Getting rid of splinters. Now you have to give each square foot of the surface 30 clockwise strokes with the buffer. 30! Darling, that seems a bit excessive. Yes, 30. And then you have to double check those strokes, but... Oh, shoot. I lost count. Well, I have to cut down a new tree. Yes, this is positively electrifying. Step 29. Painting your room. I chose this practical brown color. Step 29.5, painting your room with this, uh, very bright purple. Step 42, adding tufted button walls. You're gonna wanna be careful, measuring the satin at least twice. Now that you've measured five times, we can begin to cut the samples. <clears throat> We just have to figure out which of the 62 samples work best. <clears throat> now the real fun begins. Oh, now the real fun begins. I've been having so much fun the whole time. Harry, <sighs> wake up. <sighs> Step 73, the big reveal. Oh, yeah. Good night, you two. Craft of Cookies with me, Pinkie Pie! In 
just one class, you too can become a certified cookie master. <gasps> Let's get started. Yum! Ooh, yes, please. Tasty. You're gonna be delicious. Now, step two. Making cookies. Cup of sugar. Tablespoon of baking powder. Dash of vanilla. Pinch of salt. And for our final ingredient, two take kisses. Mwah! Mmm, cotton candy. This is tasty. You really outdone yourself, Pinky. Ah, thanks, Gummy. Now for the not so secret ingredient chocolate! Mmm. Don't eat all the chips. Whoa, my tum tum. I didn't think there was such a thing as too much chocolate. Now, to bake our creations. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> They're ready! <laughs> What's that, Gummy? You think I've just invented the perfect cookie? Ah. And now, for the final and best part, sprinkles! Et voila! Two dozen ultra scrumptious cookies for a sophisticated snack time. Until next time on The Craft of Cookies, this is Pinkie Pie bidding you a sweet evening and a most delicious morrow. Today, the great and powerful Trixie is here to blow your feeble minds with some serious magic. Yeah, uh, Trixie, everyone believes that you're great and powerful. You don't have to prove it. Don't worry, I got this. I'm worrying, I'm worrying. Magic, don't fail me now. Abra! Abra? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your eyes on the great and powerful Trixie's astounding power of telekinesis. Whoa! 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 You're welcome. I am all powerful. to Street Chic with Rarity, a show that keeps you ahead of the curve so you're always the first girl on your block to wear the most glittering and glamorous frocks in fashion. This week, I am bringing you the latest in summer flair, so let's get started. As you can see, Applejack has a simply scrumptious country style that really works for her, so I will just make some simple tweaks. <gasps> Sometimes I just shock myself with how good I am. Uh, don't you think it's a pinch chilly for this get-up? Nonsense! You look gorgeous and, oh, uh, so summer. <laughs> Cold. Oh, you're starting to head north for the winter. It may be fall, darling, but we in the fashion world are in summer mode. And now, so are you. She's sporty, she's stylish, and she needs a sensational summer look to dazzle all the other sports people. Uh, um, anyway. It's elegant, yet still sporty. She'll be bringing drama along with the summer sun. That doesn't look like the sun to me. Ignore the nature rainbow dash. Summer chic is a state of mind. We'll see you next time on Street Sheep with Rarity. Until then, don't forget to strike a pose. Uh, Rarity, you got anything for winter? <sighs> Remind me to do our photo shoots indoors from now on. Welcome to Shimmer Code, my game channel. 
I've decided to take a break from racking up crazy high scores to introduce my friend Fluttershy to gaming. Yay, games. Okay, Fluttershy, your pick. What'll it be? Oh, the squirrel one. Yeah, sure. I usually play more advanced games, but what my guest player picks, we play. This will be easy. Time to press some buttons. Whee! Here we go. The gameplay here is actually very simple. Get your squirrel to climb the tree. Climb the tree. Climb the tree. Like this? Uh, yeah. What do you want from me? Tell me what you need! <laughs> Did I do it right? That was amazing! Can I watch you play it again? Pet show. Sure is great to be here, ain't it? Sure is, Applejack. Can't wait to see all the wonderful contestants. <laughs> Alrighty then. You heard the lady. Let's meet them. This is the backstage area where the pets get fresh and spiffy before the competition. Right, Fluttershy? Mm-hmm. Fresh and spiffy. Oh, well, look at this handsome fellow. Tell us about your pooch. Oh, the dog's a Boston Terrier named... Banana. Anything else to share? Oh. <laughs> Banana's favorite snack is bananas. He loves his banana toy, and his favorite pastime is... Aww, what a cutie. Oh, really? She loves daytime TV, is a great listener, and... Uh... I think the show will be starting soon, so we should wrap this up. I think we have time for one more quick interview. Winona? Ah, what are you doing back here? Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> Winona only said that she wanted to surprise you by competing today. Oh, yeehaw! We gotta get ready to win that goal. That's the signal. It's time to enjoy the cutest show in Canterlot. So many surprises and one too many juggling acts, if you ask me. And now, for the victory lap, here comes our participation winner. I have such a hard time reading that gummy. He's a pet of mystery. Next up, our third place partners, Microchips and JBJ24601. Uh, hey, Fluttershy. Does a robot count as a pet? Uh, I mean, over to you, Fluttershy. Thank you, Applejack. JVJ24601 really wowed the judges with their super shiny coat. Our second place team sure knows how to put a game face on during a tough competition. Couldn't agree more, Applejack. And Tank kept his focus despite the distraction of being totally in love. Bravo, Tank. You sure do have the inside scoop, Fluttershy. Well, Tank is a very talkative tortoise. And our big winners. Oh, I don't know about you, Fluttershy, but I can't think of a more deserving duo. Yes, despite being in a horribly cranky mood during the personality round, Fluffersnuff really turned on the charm for the win. Oh. You 
guys did great. Welcome to another exciting school year at Canterlot High. As you settle into your new classes, please make sure everything's in order. Everything's not in order. Where's Pinkie Pie? Um, isn't Rarity in this class? But I thought Sunset Shimmer was in advanced physics with me. This is regular physics, dude. What? All final schedule changes must be made by the end of the day. I don't know what's going on! I was supposed to be in Woodshop with Pinkie Pie. Not fruit fruit painting time with nobody. I only signed up for drama to be with Rarity, but she wasn't there. Which was very dramatic, but for all the wrong reasons. Don't worry. I'll sort it out. Oh, okay, you. <laughs> yes, all right. You. This is the strangest math class I've ever been in. That's because it's woodshop. Uh, sunset should be in here. Pinkie Pie, have you seen Sunset? Wait, I didn't know you were taking advanced physics. Advanced physics? <laughs> Thank goodness. I thought they had ruined P.E. Rainbow Dash, I'm on my way! Don't you stand without me! <sighs> oh, oh, this year's all wrong! Oh, Girls, I think I can arrange for you all to have one class period together, but this is the final change, okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you! Well, she wasn't lying. Lunch technically <clears throat> is a class period. Best class to have together ever! <laughs> sure uh -huh. is! Um, has anyone seen Sunset? I think I'm supposed to have lunch this period. <sighs> Thank you so much for helping me with tonight's Canterlot Celestial Society member social, Pinkie Pie. No trouble, Space Rubble. Stars are like the glitter of the sky. I'm so nervous. My favorite astrophysicist, Rosette Nebula, is here. She's so smart and cool and probably very funny. Do you think she'll like me? Of course she will. <laughs> Ooh, there she is, Rosette Nebula. I just have to meet her. And I have to get this celestial celebration into orbit. Did you know the smell of chocolate increases brain waves and contains the neurotransmitter serotonin, which triggers relaxation and contentment? Hmm, <laughs> sciency. I'm Rosette Nebula. Oh, I'm Twilight Sparkle. It's such an honor to meet you. Oh, I'm so interested to hear about your theory. fixes water. everything. <laughs> Club sandwich? I thought you might. 
Wow, that was like so fast. That's what I like to hear. Care to screech about it? Can I get you anything else? Nah, just gonna enjoy my paper. Okie dokie, Loki. Hope you're enjoying your paper. If you're enjoying your service too, feel free to leave us screech. <sighs> we just got our first ever four-star review. We're down. <laughs> Four stars doesn't seem so bad. Gosh darn, it's still a good review. Our streak was bound to end sometime. No! We are a five-star diner. I have to fix this. Just in case the first one gets called. Complimentary piece of pie. Complimentary whole pie. was the peace and quiet. Oh, Rainbow Dash, would you like to come over after school today to... Oh, uh, that sounds really cool, but I can't. I have a plant. What sort of plant? Just chores and stuff. I've always wanted to do this. It's gonna be so much fun! <laughs> Taxi! Taxi! Follow that motorbike! <gasps> They're shopping without me. Lady, I need an address. I guess I'll just be alone by myself while all my friends are having fun together. Without surprise! Happy birthday, Rarity! What? You didn't think we'd let you spend your birthday alone, did you? Yeah, of course not, darling. I knew you had something up your sleeve from the very beginning. <laughs> Hello, Internet darlings. It's your music festival muses, Rarity and Applejack here, presenting our camping must-haves. Now, you're gonna be out in the hot sun all day long, so be sure to bring plenty of sunscreen. Of course, your SPF won't be complete without a chapeau. And it should match your parasol and your blanket, of course. But you don't really need all that. And maybe a scarf. I can think of two must-haves for making an outhouse feel like an in-house. Bring your own TP and plenty of hand sanitizer. Be sure to include one or two all-natural moisturizers. Never hurts to have a whole set. You can't go three days without them? I won't fit them in, darling. I'll just tuck them in next to the cushion seat cover, air freshening candle set, and four-panel privacy screen. And finally, you'll need a sleeping bag for a few hours of shut-eye. Plus pillows 
travel pillows, body pillows, accent pillows, throw pillows, bolster pillows, hypoallergenic pillows. And where are you planning to put all them pillows? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Excuse me, what happened to bringing only our must-haves? This is a one-of-a-kind bespoke four-poster bed. I absolutely must have it. Camping's about making do with what you got. It's about breaking off a stick to roast marshmallows or rustling up pine needles for deodorant. But, darling, we're not camping. Huh? We're glamping. Well, I think I'm gonna like glamping. What are you going to use, darling? I was thinking about going hashtag no filter. <gasps> Not to sound like Granny Smith, but why'd y'all care so much about a filter? All it does is make a new picture look old. <laughs> oh, no, 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 sweetheart, no! They are so much more. You can model the latest trend with shape chic. I'd never wear a dodecahedron. If you're missing your friends, try Flora slash Fauna. Oh. <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> We're in a band. Uh, we do that already. Fish eye. Bird's eyes. Normal hair. You guys look great. Watson. Bigfoot blurry in the background. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Looks just like him. Pony! Uh, Woo! Party picture! This one is awesome! The cake looks delicious. I'll say. What's this filter called, Pinkie Pie? What filter? Hey everybody, Sunset Shimmer here, your MVP with a BTS look at the VIP life. Translation? I got a backstage pass! Need a break? First perk of the VIP treatment? Swag, 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 swag! I'm talking foreign chocolate, instant cameras, noise canceling headphones, or socks. Rock on! Must be to keep bands from getting cold feet. <laughs> I guess I'll just, uh, put them on. <laughs> uh, VIP coming through! <laughs> Check it out. The world famous green room where all the bands hang out before the show. Any guesses on who we'll see? Are you kidding me? This is amazing! You're looking at the guy who invented pickup only reverb. Ever wonder who does Post Precious Light Show? She runs a four gel hot swap. Ah! This is the best day of my life! Did you want to meet the band? Cool socks. <laughs> Thanks. Can I get a picture? <laughs> and that's how you backstage. The best part of a music festival is the music. But to me, it's fashion! An old pair of cowboy boots will keep you from stepping in a steaming pile of, uh, fashion emergency. If you've got hang-ups with hangers, look for style right outside your window. <gasps> I believe they're 
famished for fashion. Well, actually, they do want me to regurgitate worms into their beaks. Innovative! Who's next? Make sure you can move, whether you're dancing at the festival or after a hat trick. Touchdown! Uh, that's not what it's called. Can't go wrong with a classic. Classic? You mean like... in style, personal responsibility, earplugs for high decibel situation, a water bottle, flashlight and compass in case you get lost, the other kind of compass in case you need to drop. And there you have it, my loves. At the end of the day, it's always in fashion to be utterly yourselves. See you at the festival! <laughs> <laughs>